It seems the countdown to cracking Bitcoin has begun. According to venture capitalist Shamath Palihapitiya, Google's new quantum chips, Willow, could crack SHA-256 encryption in the next five years. What a great start to the week. Welcome to Bloombits. So let's break it down. In the All In podcast over the weekend, Shamath notes that the chip's biggest target is Bitcoin's SHA-256 algorithm, which secures its network. He explained that Google's quantum advancements could break it once they reach around 8,000 stable qubits. We're in the two to five year shot clock for blockchain networks to re-implement new hashing algorithms, he warned. He further cautioned that switching to quantum proof encryption isn't a simple patch. It would mean rebuilding blockchain networks at their core. The urgency comes as Google's quantum chips get even more powerful when combined in clusters, despite hurdles like interconnect complexities. Earlier this week, Google announced that its Willow chip solved the problem in five minutes that would take traditional computers longer than the universe's age to crack. While this isn't immediately useful in the real world, it's a huge leap towards disrupting encryption as we know it. Google says that its quantum push aims to solve big problems in fields like medicine and AI, but the impact that it will have on all of crypto is hard to ignore. You know what else is hard to ignore? Trump's tax plans for crypto. President-elect Donald Trump has a bold idea, no capital gains taxes on US-issued cryptocurrencies. His son, Eric Trump, confirmed the plan, which aims to make digital assets like ADA, ALGO, XRP, and HBAR tax-free for American investors. Fox News' Eric Sean says that this move could give US crypto a big edge by making it cheaper to hold compared to foreign digital assets, which could face up to a 37% tax. To qualify, crypto companies would need to register in the US, but existing firms might get a chance to relocate. The goal is to make the US a global leader in crypto by encouraging the creation of made-in-America digital currencies. For US investors, it could mean bigger profits thanks to the tax-free status. But not everyone's on board. Critics say that a government-backed crypto focus clashes with blockchain's decentralized ideals. While some see opportunity, others face tragedy. In Taiwan, the mysterious death of the top crypto investigator has shaken the community. But until that happens, make sure you do your taxes. The IRS doesn't mess around. A Texas man is heading to prison for two years after underreporting $4 million in Bitcoin sales, the U.S. Department of Justice announced. Frank Algren III, an early crypto adopter, pled guilty in September. According to the IRS, this is the first ever criminal tax evasion case focused entirely on crypto. Algren will serve time because he believed his cryptocurrency transactions were untraceable. This case demonstrates that no one is above the law said Lucy Tan, an acting special agent with the IRS. The DOJ says that Algren tried to hide his Bitcoin sales by transferring coins between accounts, meeting buyers in person for cash deals, and using mixers or tools that make transactions hard to trace. In a 2014 blog post, Algren even wrote about how mixers could add anonymity to Bitcoin transactions. Along with prison time, Algren will serve a year of probation and pay over a million dollars in restitution. Yeesh. And tax-related news doesn't stop just there. But not everyone in the crypto world is feeling the heat. In fact, some big plans could make digital assets a lot more appealing if you're in the US. Argentina might just become the next big player in crypto. Argentine president Javier Millet is shaking things up with plans to let all currencies, including Bitcoin, circulate freely in Argentina, starting in 2025. It's like El Salvador's Bitcoin play, but tailored for Argentina's unique economic struggles. And that's not all. Malay is also pushing to slash national taxes by 90% and let provinces set their own tax rules. The goal? Give people the freedom to pay however they want and inject some flexibility into the economy. Basically, cut back on federal control, boost local growth, and attract investors. Crypto enthusiasts are hyped, with experts saying that these policies could make Argentina a global leader in crypto adoption. But there's a catch. Disparities in how Bitcoin is taxed compared to traditional currencies like the dollar or euro could complicate its everyday use. Even so, Malay's pro-Bitcoin stance is giving the crypto community plenty of reasons to stay optimistic. So, seems like 2025 will be a great year for crypto. And today's keyword, of course, is Bitcoin. With all of these news, if you had a choice, would you pick living in the US or Argentina for crypto reasons? Let us know in the comments down below. And I'll see you tomorrow.